Xin chào, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Hannah, a certified Pilates teacher, and today I want to share with you an intense abs workout. It's gonna be challenging, it's gonna be intensive, and you're gonna love it for sure. So if you're ready, just throw your mat and let's do this together. Alright, now let's start by allowing yourself to do some warm up before we start the main challenge. So open your legs wider or just start with a narrow angle, bend your knees and feel free to sit on a pillow or a yoga block if it's easier for you to lengthen your spine here. Pull the belly button in, press open, shoulders down, arms to the side and I'm going to start to inhale and exhale. This is a really weird position to start with but trust me just trust me close your eyes and inhale chest open i want to start to rotate the torso to one side and come back to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center so warm up your hips and your core because we have to use it a lot for today so i wanted to inhale and exhale to the other side and come back and a couple more times with your own breath to the other side and belly button in, now last one. And slowly bring it back to the center. Reach your hand to one side, reach your hand to the opposite side. If you can, just please close your eyes still and feel your body. Keep balance on your sitting bones and on your feet. Keep breathing, go a little bit further for three. To the other side, two. And last one, inhale. And exhale, slowly bring your torso back to the center. Hands down, open your eyes, bring your head to one side, to the opposite side, come back. And three more times, each side here, with your own breath. To so keep your legs open wide, to stretch your hips, to get yourself ready. Very good, and last one. And slowly bring your legs, your head back to the center. Now when it's an inhale, you can bend your knees if it's more comfortable for you. And start to rotate your head around your neck. So inhale halfway, exhale halfway, and then reverse. I'm gonna do it two more times here. So inhale, and exhale, and reverse. And last one, rotate slowly with your own breath and reverse and slowly bring your head back to the center. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to come to own fall position. So open your arms, shoulders, your part, your legs stay with the part. Now bring your shoulders down between your arms to keep lengthening your arms, pull the belly button in and then lift it up. Don't arch your back, I'm gonna do it for three, two, and last one. And now articulate your spine, shoulders far away from your ears, look towards the front and round your spine to your chest. Pull the belly button in, cat and cow. Come back, stretch your stomach. And round your spine, stretch your spine. And slowly, one more time here, shoulders down, look towards the front. And round your spine and bring your torso back to the center. Shake your hips and here, deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back. We're gonna start the main workout here. So, keep your arms along your body and lift your legs up to 90 degrees. Activate your feet. Now make sure you keep the same angle, 90 degrees on your knees. Every movement start from your hips. So bring one leg down, come back to the other side. We're gonna do 10 times here. Just start easy and then we're gonna push it up very quick. So keep breathing. Just make sure you keep do it slowly with your own breath. The more slow, the slower we do, the more challenging it is. And keep breathing, inhale and exhale. Squish your thighs, press your hip bones down to the mat. I wanted to start easy because I wanted to make sure you're back in neutral position and pull the belly button in. Always keep your back in neutral and that way two more times here. And then we're gonna go to the real challenge for your lower abs, your belly and both legs at a time. Come back, activate your feet 10 times here. Inhale and exhale nine. Press your shoulder blades down to the mat. Eight, belly button in. Seven, really engage your core. Six, keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. Five, four, don't hold your breath at all. 
three, activate your feet, keep the same angle on your knees, two, and last one. And now lengthen one leg and lengthen the opposite leg. Take a little bit easier and then get ready for the next one. So five, four, three, two and one and then move forward switch to the opposite side you can make it more challenging by lift your head off the mat and lengthen open your elbows wider keep a beautiful form on your upper body lift your chest even higher to support your neck and i wanted to make sure you keep one fist distant from your chin to your chest you can use your hand to support your head anytime if you have a weak neck or if you feel like is too much on your neck so feel free to do that and three two and last one and now I wanted to lengthen your leg pull the belly button in press your lower leg down and switch to the opposite side so again lift your chest higher use your hand to pull your leg towards the chest more pull the belly button in and make sure the most important thing here is stabilize your hips so keep breathing five four inhale and exhale switch three to the opposite side press your hip bones down and last one and slowly bring your legs down hug your knees to your chest i already feel in my body really warm up and get ready to burn some fat all right press your feet down and i wanted to inhale slowly use your hand to support your head open your elbows wider inhale and exhale reach your torso up and down work your six back abs here for 10 keep breathing nine eight pull the belly button in press your feet down open your legs sit with the part stabilize your hips here very good keep breathing use your shoulders to lead the movement not your neck so that way you're going to have more support for your neck and three two and last one reach and down slowly bring your torso down shake your hips and inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i wanted to open your arm to the side lift your legs up to 90 degrees and start to bring your legs from left to right so walk your curve your waist here to make it beautiful tone very good inhale and exhale to the other side just go as far as you can but make sure your opposite shoulder still press down when you bring your legs to the other side very good keep breathing belly button in inhale activate your feet exhale come back and five more times each side here to the opposite side four don't hold your breath to the other side and three keep breathing press your whole arms down for more support two and last one inhale and exhale and slowly bring your legs back to the center bring your legs down arms along your body tuck your tailbone forward draw your hips all the way up pull the belly button in and slowly bring it down 10 times here with your own breath so 10 keep breathing and nine inhale and exhale eight i wanted to make sure the whole time you pull the belly button in seven six and after this the real challenge gonna be start very good and four three two now last one and slowly bring it down very good now keep your feet towards the center lengthen your legs all the way towards the front and now i wanted to lift your hips up and now start to bring your hips down so ten keep breathing nine eight press your shoulder blades down seven six five four belly button in three inhale up exhale down two and last one slowly bend your knee to the opposite side lift it up and down for ten keep breathing nine eight seven six stabilize your hips that's a key thing four three inhale and exhale two and last one up and down and hug your knees to your chest straight your hips now i wanted to lift one leg knee bend and lengthen one leg towards the front here use your hand to support your head exhale reach crisscross so as quick as you can in 10 counts pull the belly button in and 10 9 
keep breathing try to lengthen and press your hip bone down to the mat lengthen your leg as far as you can and try to reach your opposite chest to the knee so not your elbow but your chest and try to lift your chest up off the mat go higher knee to chest more keep breathing and three two very good and last one and slowly bring your hips your whole torso down to the mat shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth lead your head off the mat arms along your body here now make sure that you engage your core press your lower back down start to pump in your arms inhale two three four five exhale two three four five stabilize your hips oh whole arms are moving and pumping not just your wrist keep breathing don't hold your breath inhale and exhale inhale chest higher to protect your neck if you want to make it easier I mean more challenging lift your legs up to 90 degrees here or lengthen your legs all the way towards the front inhale and exhale and six more time five four use your whole arms to pump lower your legs for more challenge make sure you press your whole lower back down to the mat and don't arch your back here and three two use your hand to support your head if you need to last one and slowly hug your knees to your chest that's amazing inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now for the next movement i wanted to rest your head down arms along your body lift your legs up to 90 degrees now start to bring one leg down to the opposite side to make it more challenging both legs at a time and come back i'm going to do 10 times here with your own breath so keep breathing nine make sure you press your hip bones down don't arch your back eight and exhale seven press your whole shoulder blades down six inhale and exhale go halfway if it's easier for your back and not arching here very good and five four you can do this three and exhale come back and two very good and last one and slowly bring your legs back to the center hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now you're going to allow yourself to lift your legs up to 90 degrees dorsal flex with your feet arms along your body press your whole shoulder blades down lengthen both legs towards the front open come back and bend for 10 don't have to bring your legs so low again just higher if it's easier for your back listen to your lower back to find a good modification or version for your workout so i wanted to keep breathing and six inhale and exhale five pull the belly button in shoulder blades down four keep breathing inhale lengthen and open exhale come back and bend two and last one lengthen open come back and bend and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to keep your feet to go the center draw your hips all the way up and now slowly inhale lift one leg up and down to the other side and stabilize your hips here so 10 keep breathing nine activate your foot eight pull the belly button in seven make sure you always keep your hips stabilized here lower your hips if it's easier for your lower back but i want to try to lift as high as you can very good and five inhale and exhale to the opposite side four three keep breathing and two more times with your own breath now last one 
to the other side and slowly bring your hips down shake your hips and inhale deeply and exhale deeply all right and now i want you to allow yourself to slowly press your feet down open your legs with the pad lift your head off the mat use your hand to support your head here now i want you to engage your core and now slowly lift your chest higher until you feel like your six back abs working here to hold yourself in this position and now i want you to inhale lift one leg up and lengthen your opposite leg and up and down so everything stabilized only your leg is moving 10 9 keep breathing 8 chest higher elbows open 7 6 5 you can use your hand to press your hip bones down if it's easier for you or put your opposite leg down if it's easier for you very good and 2 and last one and slowly switch to the opposite side so down and up chest higher here to feel your six leg up working at the same time beautiful keep breathing inhale down exhale lift and down and up and five four put your leg down if, if it's easier for you again two and last one and slowly bring your hips down shake your hips and you know, deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to open your arms wider here lift your legs up to the ceiling plant up flex with your feet press your whole arms and shoulder blades down bring both legs to one side make a uh, lift your top leg up and down 10 9 8 press your opposite shoulder blades down to the mat 6 keep breathing 5 4 feel your oblique is working 3 2 and one to the opposite side again lift it up and down 10 9 8 7 6 belly button in 5 4 3 2 and 1 slowly bring your legs back to the center hug your knees to your chest shake your hips and inhale deeply and exhale deeply rotate your ankles and then reverse now the next movement lean on one side we're going to do a side lift so Forearm down to the mat, top leg to the front, bottom leg towards the back, shoulders far away from your ears. Hands support your head, lift your hips as high as you can. Start to make a little pose for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and slowly bring it down. Now, keep your feet towards the center, hand behind your head, lift your hips as high as you can, and slowly bring it down for 10. Keep breathing, 9. If you want to make it easier, open your legs wider, 8 seven very good six otherwise keep your legs to the center for more challenge five four try to keep your hips as high as you can three two pull the belly button in and last one and slowly bring it down very good now i wanted to allow yourself to put your shoulders far away from your ears lift your waist up pull the belly button in lift your legs as just about the mat here so you can use your hand on in top on top of the other one start to bring your legs from front to back and 10 keep breathing rest your whole torso down if it's easier for your balance so just engage your core pull the belly button in very good seven six five four three very good two and last one very good bring your legs back to the center and now rest your head on your arm here engage your core lift your legs as high as you can and slowly bring it down now each leg at a time if it's easier for you just listen to your body 10 9 keep breathing 8 stabilize your torso 7 press your whole hands down to the mat 6 your hips stabilized 5 4 belly button in three keep breathing two and last one slowly bring your legs down beautiful guys now i'm going to allow yourself to lean on the other side to do side lift on the other side so hands support your head and again just keep your feet toward the center if you want more challenging open your legs wider if you want to make it easier hand on hand make a little pose here so 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 three two one and slowly bring it down very good and now hand behind your head i want to engage your core again inhale lift as high as you can exhale bring it down for 10 
nine, keep breathing, pressure, hold forearm down to the mat for more so much, eight, seven, beautiful, six, five, four, shoulders far away from your ears, three, belly button in, two, and last one, up and down, very good, and now I wanted to allow yourself to again, lift your waist up, hips down, belly button in, and now slowly lift both legs off the mat here, start to bring your legs from front to leg, for ten, uh, front to back, and ten, nine, keep breathing, eight, or rest your head all the way down on your arm, if it's easier for your balance, six, five, slowly with your own breath, four, three, two, and last one, and slowly bring your legs back to the center. Now this time, you know, the last challenge for the psychic today, I want you to activate your feet, and now inhale, bring both legs up off the mat as high as you can, and then come back 10 times here. So 10, belly button in, nine, eight, keep breathing, seven, six, five, four, belly button in, three, inhale and exhale, two and last one up and down and slowly allow yourself to lie all the way down on your body shake your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and now i want to keep your forearms down we're going to do some forearm plank before anything else so forearm down tuck your feet lift your whole body up and start to bring your hips from left to right so 10 keep breathing nine make sure you lengthen your neck and look down to the mat eight seven six you can do this and five very good four belly button in three two and last one and slowly come back to the center come to tripod shake your hips a little bit and that's going to be the first part if you're done for the day just go all the way to the end to do some stretching before we complete or just continue to join me for the second part so let's go for the second part now i want to inhale lengthen your legs again tuck your feet and now start to bring your hips up so one your knee your hip on top of one knee and i want you to inhale lift your leg up and down and 10 times, take your own breath, so 10, keep breathing, nine, shoulders on top of your elbows, eight, seven, six, bring it down slowly with control, five, really engage your core, three, belly button in, two, and last one, slowly bring it down, to make it easier for your knee, just lengthen leg, if you do that, it's gonna be easier, otherwise just bend your knee here, 10, Keep breathing, nine, eight, seven, six, don't hold your breath, five, very good, four, belly button in, three, two, and last one, slowly bring your knees down, come to try pose here, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth, you can rotate your wrist, and reverse, all right, now lie all the way down on your belly one more time. And this time I wanted to bring your hands towards the front over your head. And now slowly inhale, lift your whole arms and legs up like we do swimming. Superman. So keep breathing. 10, 9, 8. Each leg at a time and each arm at a time if it's easier for you. 7, keep breathing. I want to do the challenging version now. And 5. Four, very good. Three, beautiful. Two, and last one, lift and down. And slowly shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now for the next challenge, I wanted to allow yourself to lift your legs up, lift your hands over your head, and start to pumping your arms and legs here for 10, nine, like swimming, seven, six, five, four, Three, squeeze your booty, belly button in, and slowly bring your torso down. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. <sighs> All right, and when you're ready, I want you to slowly rest your head on your arm. And now I want you to pull the belly button in, tuck your feet, and now slowly engage your core. Just press your hip bones down and really pull the belly button in. Lift your head up and lift your legs up at the same time and then bring it down. So you can always do each leg at a time if it's easier for you. Just listen to your body. 
Shut us far away from your ears. And ten. Nine. To the opposite side. Eight. Inhale and exhale down. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. <sighs> really engage your core. And just go as far as you can. But don't have to go too high. Listen to your lower back. So you can always totally rest your legs down. Only lift your torso up if it's easier for you. Just listen to your body. Very good. And three, two, and last one. Slowly bring your legs down. Shake your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. All right. And when you're ready, I want you to move to the next challenge. Lengthen your arms over your head again. Lift your legs up and slide back to your shoulders far away from your ears. Look towards the front of the mat. Now inhale and start to make a little pumping with your legs like we're swimming again for 10, 9, 8, 7, engage your core, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and then slowly tuck your feet, keep your hands next to your chest, pull the belly button in, lift your whole body up, so 10, 9, 8, engage your core as much as possible, look down to the mat, 6, 5, put your whole forearms down if it's easier for your wrist, Two and one slowly drop your body down. Shoot your hips and hold deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. You're gonna come back to try pose. Take a deep breath. And then gonna move to sit along the mat. And here we go. The challenging another challenging part. <laughs> okay, so bend your knees, open your legs, see with apart and hands under your thighs, open your elbows, where to lean backward. Open your chest, lengthen your spine, look towards the front, lift your heels up. Now I want you to don't pull so hard on your leg, just keep it here for the balance in case. I want you to inhale, try to lift your legs up until you feel like you can keep balance on your sitting bones. So just try to lift it up and down and try to find a balance spot. And when you can get the balance here, I want you to inhale to slowly lengthen one leg and to the opposite side. So 10, keep breathing, nine. You can put your hands behind your hip if it's easier for your balance. Seven, especially if you're beginner, it's gonna help a lot. And five, belly button in, lengthen your spine. Four, three, beautiful, two. And last one, slowly bring your legs down. Beautiful. Now I want you to allow yourself to lengthen one leg and the opposite leg lengthen. Use your hand, tuck your thighs. Again, open your elbows wider and engage your core, lean backward. Now lift your bottom leg up and down. Ten, nine. You can bend your knee if it's easier for you. Eight, seven, six, five. Engage your core, don't pull so hard and use your core to hold your body in this movement, not your hands or your legs. And last one, slowly bring your legs down, move to the opposite side. So again, lift it up and down. Again, don't pull so hard. 10, 9, 8, 7. You can even let go of your hand if it's easy for you. 5, 4, very good guys. 3, 2, and last one, slowly bring your legs down. Beautiful. Put your whole forearms down and lengthen your legs. Open your legs with the part. Lift your hips as high as you can and bring it down. Chin your chest. So 10, 9, 8. Don't pull your chin up to the ceiling. 6, 5. Look towards the front. 3. Try to lift your hips as high as you can. Pull the belly button in. Last one. And slowly. Bring your hips down, bring your legs towards the center. Allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back again. All right, and now you want to allow yourself to keep your arms along the body here. And now inhale. This is going to be a little bit challenging if you do it for the first time. But trust me, once you get mastered at it, you're going to really enjoy it. Now lift your hips as high as you can. Use your hand to pull behind your hips here and start to bring your legs up or the other work to get up to that point you can just press your hands down lift your hips up and then use your hand to support your head and from here lift your legs and then switch so 10 keep breathing nine pull the belly button in eight engage your core seven and you can bend your knee if it's easier for you six but make sure you keep the same angle on your knee when you bend and three, 
very good to lengthen and last one and slowly bring your legs towards the front arms down and draw each vertebra at a time down to the mat bend your knees inhale and exhale reach your hips up and down 10 keep breathing 9 8 press your shoulder blades down 7 6 pull the belly button in exhale reach up inhale down and four more times stay with your own breath three two and last one reach and slowly bring it down beautiful guys inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready open your legs to be the part again now i wanted to inhale and bleed your hips as high as you can open your elbows wider start to rotate your hips from left to right walk your up leg here 10 keep breathing nine pull the belly button in press your feet down seven six very good five four belly button in three inhale and exhale two and last one slowly bring your hips back to the center draw your hips down inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right now this is gonna be really challenging so i wanted to make sure that you really focus lengthen your legs and now pull the belly button in lift one leg up and engage your car press your hip bones down lift the opposite leg up and bring it down slowly just above the mat but really is really enough to burn your uh, belly here so lift it up and bring it down 10 times with your own breath 10 keep breathing 9 don't arch your back 8 you can bend your knee if it's easier for your back and 6 but lengthen your legs for the maximum effect 4 <sighs> inhale up 3 and 2 now last one and slowly bring it down to the opposite side so the last time i put my right leg first and now i'm going to put the opposite the left one first lift it up and down 10 keep breathing nine eight that's amazing seven six keep breathing and five you can do this almost done four three bring it down slowly if you can two <sighs> last one and slowly show your hips and inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth <sighs> all right and when you're ready i wanted to allow yourself to bring your arms towards the front bend your knees here and now chin to chest pull the belly button in and start to lift your head off the mat try to reach your head your hands towards the front as far as you can now lift your arms up and down for 10 9 pull the belly button in 8 you can bring your hands further if you want more 7 lift the chest even higher press your feet down press your lower back down to the mat and 5 4 3 inhale and exhale 2 and last one and now slowly use your hand to support your head now open your elbows wider here lift your head off the mat and now start to bring your legs bend your knees 90 degrees here move your legs further away keep the same and open come back so the key thing here to work your core is your knees further away or at least on top of your hips if it's easier for you otherwise just move it as far as you can very good keep breathing press your lower back down to the mat four open your elbows wider three two and last one slowly bring your head down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose shake your hips a little bit exhale deeply through your mouth and now i wanted to allow yourself to bring your arms all the way towards the ceiling again inhale and exhale slowly each vertebra at a time bring your torso up off the mat and then bring it down and lift and down try to reach a little bit further and 10 keep breathing nine you can open your knees wider to make easier to go up it seven use your hand to support your head if it's easier for your back go back to the movement we did before very good three two reach 
and last one slowly bring your head down bring your head from left to right and come back one more time to the opposite side and very good and now you're going to allow yourself to hands along your body lift your head off the mat again reach your hand to the opposite angle to the ankle and then 10 to the opposite side nine keep breathing eight use your hand to support your head if it's easier for you six and five otherwise just lengthen your arms for the best the maximum challenge three very good two and last one slowly bring your head down to the mat you know deeply hug your knees to your chest and exhale deeply one more deep breath and exhale and slowly lean on one side to sit up now we're going to do some stretching movement before we complete the workout today so bring your head to one side feel the side of your neck is stretching and try to bring your opposite shoulder a little bit down towards the mat so that way you're going to feel more stretching there to the other side and slowly bring your head back to the center feel free to bend your knees open your legs and sit on a pillow if it's easier for your hips now i want you to start to rotate your head around your neck so you know halfway exhale halfway and then reverse one more time and reverse and slowly bring your head back and the last one and reverse and slowly bring your head back to the center. Now I want you to allow yourself to bring your arm to the side, reach your hand to one side, and bring your opposite arm towards the front, come back to the opposite side. I'm gonna try to do it for five, four, belly button in, three, keep breathing, two, and last one, last one to the other side, and slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions, and reverse. Articulate your spine, cat and cow in sitting position. Try to press your shoulders down towards the hips as far as you can and round your spine. Make sure you pull the belly button in to support your lower back. And again, arch your back and round your spine. And last one. And exhale, round your spine again and slowly bring your head back to the center. Shake your hips and exhale deeply. And exhale deeply, rotate your wrist and reverse interlace your finger reach forward move to the side come back to the opposite side and back to the central three more times here with your own breath two and last one to the other side back to the center round your spine until your hands touch the ground and then lengthen up reach your hands all the way up stretch your stomach and then come back shoulders down and bring it back again beautiful and one more time and lift it all the way up and slowly open your arm to the side lean on one side to the side bending come back to the opposite side five more times here each side with your own breath four keep breathing and three belly button in two inhale and exhale and last one to the opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center reach your hands to the side to feel your upper arms and your shoulders lengthening and bring your hands down shake your hips rotate your shoulders fully to four directions lengthen your spine and sit tall still and reverse Bring your hands to the opposite thigh, rotate your torso to the back and to the other side and slowly bring your hands back to the center, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth, one more deep breath and exhale and that's the world after that. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know how it goes for you. And if you want to see more longer apps video like this, because I'm really, really enjoy it. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next workout. Have a good day. Bye bye.